Hello. Uh, well, I'm, I made this video um, because I couldn't find a video on YouTube that uh, addressed the particular problem that I wanted to understand and uh, find a solution to. Uh, and uh, so I wound up going and, and, and uh, trying to find a solution myself and I uh, found one that works. And uh, basically what uh, I've, I've been able to do is connect a standard um, XLR uh, microphone. This is in, in this case it's a Shure SM57. Uh, it's an XLR, has an XLR input. Um, you know, has it use XLR. Uh, this is, the, I guess, the um, female XLR uh, from the microphone uh, to uh, male XLR. Uh, I want to somehow get that XLR signal from a mic external microphone into my cell phone. From, so my cell phone will use it at, instead of its internal microphone. Um, and uh, of course the cell phone, I have a, a Samsung S21, uh, Galaxy S21, which has the uh, just the uh, USB-C um, input. It's the same as the charging port. Uh, and uh, my question was, can I somehow get this XLR uh, signal over to an, a USB-C uh, input uh, to, to, and will the phone then recognize it as a microphone and substitute it for the internal microphone. Uh, that was my goal. Uh, the reason I'm doing this uh, is um, because I'm, uh, I'm buying this voice print uh, DI by uh, LR Bags which uh, is intended to um, translate the pickup signal uh, from my Dobro, uh, or, or it could do it from any you know acoustic instrument pickup uh, pickup signal that usually doesn't sound very acoustic by the time you, you use your your transducer and you know piezo pickup type setups. It usually sounds kind of quacky or um, you know just not very acoustic sounding. And what the bags device supposedly does is uses your cell phone to uh, as a measurement device. The microphone in the cell phone simultaneously with the pickup signal compares the two uh, as you're playing and and uh, adjusts the pickup signal, uh, finds adjustments. I, I guess it's adjusting the EQ and maybe the reverb, maybe compression. I don't know what it's doing, but somehow it's comparing those two signals, the microphone signal and the pickup signal, and then setting adjustments to the pickup signal so that when you play it, it will actually sound acoustic. And people have said they have really great results and it's designed to use that internal um, microphone from the cell phone, which is very cool, but some people question, well, how can this internal microphone from a cell phone be that good that it's going to um, you know, ha pick up all those acoustic qualities? And Bags replies that it's you know, really not, it adjusts for all the you know, known, known limits of the, uh, of, the, of the internal microphone, uh, and it, uh, so it's, yeah, it's really just using the microphone of the cell phone as a measurement device, and somehow that that's different than you know just having good sound uh, from the microphone and of course the microphones are pretty good in these cell phones but um, some people say that they they've got better results by connecting an external microphone and they had all kind of convoluted ways of doing it that involved um, you know USB um, uh, what are they called um, sound processor from uh, you know for for USB what's that called USB I forget what they even call it anyway it's something I didn't have um, and as you can tell, I'm probably not not very sophisticated with electronics. What I just wanted was to you know somehow get the connectors that I needed uh, with things that I already have, um, so that I can get the signal from a microphone into my cell phone and try that out. Try an external when it, when I eventually get the 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 voice print. I don't even have it yet, but um, anyway. If that makes any sense to anybody, that's that's good. If not, that's okay too, because we're just really all I'm doing in this video is showing how I got the um, signal from a, a, a microphone, an X standard XLR microphone, into my little USB-C um, port in my phone, and that it actually worked, which is kind of amazing. And I did it with shit I already have. Um, and uh, what is that? Well, I wish I could remember what that thing is called that people are always talking about, the USB. You know, everybody bought them during COVID uh, to get the signal from their, um, their, their, their mixed um, music 
you know, whether it's multi, it could be multiple instruments that you mix and then you put into your um, computer so you could broadcast and stream a really good quality sound rather than use the internal computer microphone, which usually isn't, isn't very good. Uh, it's not even as good as a cell phone mic. Anyway, uh, all that having been said, uh, I, uh, I do have stuff. Oh, in USB interface, I guess that's all it's called uh, for your... Um, anyway, I think that's what it's called. Anyway, I, I didn't have one of those. I didn't want to buy one. I already got enough crap in my house. I didn't want another thing. Uh, and I didn't want to spend the money if I already have things that work. So what I have is I have a the microphone, I have uh, the cable, the XLR cable, and then I have uh, a PA head, uh, which is where the XLR signal goes. And I can even use a condenser mic on this because it has phantom power. A uh, you know P uh, Mackie 808S uh, PA head. So, you know, a really great PA head. I use that for gigs, and, uh, and it's been really good to me. Um, and so I, uh, I can plug my microphone into this, and I adjust, you know, the volume. In, in this case, I have the volume up at Unity, and the gain for my, my microphone usually is around 3 o'clock. Everything else I just put, you know, straight up center. Now, the output from this, it does have outputs. Of course, there's speaker outs in the back, but there's this... Um, mixer out and that sounded promising that you have a mixer out that would probably be you know just the standard kind of signal um it does have uh these controls the mixer out do, uh, is sensitive to i've discovered the the main master volume control and of course it's sensitive to these signal controls that i have on this side which i just kept at unity just to keep it simple um anyway that and then so coming out of that mixer out from the from the amp, I have I I when I was doing that streaming kind of thing with my um, sorry the computer the uh, thing got crooked here I don't know why that happened but anyway my thing doesn't have adjustable legs so it looked like I'm one of the criminals on bat the old Batman show with the crook they always had the crooked uh, thing anyway here I have this uh, this cable I bought uh, when I was doing trying to do some streaming through my computer because I did, didn't want to buy that USB interface, USB interface thing. Uh, and uh, it has, uh, basically, it's a Behringer cable. It's just a cable. There's no um, you know, electronics here. It's just a cable um, that uh, I have um, that has a USB on one side. It has a little light to show when it's working. And then uh, it has uh, two quarter inches. This is the left and the right for the mixer out. Uh, it's, I think this was called USB 2 quarter inch or something it had a very simple name and I'll put a link in the um, in my description of this for this video but basically this uh, just I plug these into the um, that mixer out and then I have uh, so I have the mixer out going to a USB and I'll show you that I plugged it in so I plugged it in the mixer out from my PA head and going to uh, that now I have this USB. Now I've ca I still can't plug this into the cell phone. I think it's getting get more and more crooked. I don't know what's going on. Let me if I can fix this. Oh, there, that's a little better. Anyway, so um, uh, so I have this, but this of course can't go into a cell phone. So then I have to get the USB to a USB C, uh, which is uh, you know the input for my Samsung. They used to have those um, three section. Uh, um, jacks that would be for uh, left and right and microphone for your for a headset or something um, and so I was a little worried you know now is this gonna get confused that there's not a headset involved with this this is just a microphone uh, so I really was hoping that you know just by having the connections shaped right that it would uh, understand what I'm trying to do and do and magically know what it's supposed to do and do the right thing um, so anyway I bought this other little cable this is just a uh, a female USB um, to plug this USB that I have from my mixer out um, and then it goes and then that on the other side of this female USB is a USB-C which will plug into my cell phone so that's pretty magic and so then what I um, so then I what I do is I have this uh, you know I have my microphone which I'm eventually going to use to, to aim it at my dobro but um uh so just to show you uh what happens when i connect um 
this microphone or this whole chain into my cell phone. I'll plug this now with this USB C into my cell phone. Ah, shoot. Hard to do this with one hand. Okay, so I, I plugged it into my cell phone. I think it is now connected. And we should be hearing um, the, the uh, you know, this my voice through this microphone, which is kind of cool. Um, one thing I did notice when I connected microphones to the, uh, so the external microphone to the cell phone is when I'm quiet, uh, the cell phone somehow seems to adjust the level to a, you know, it kind of, it brings it up and then you you hear more like this room hum or air noise or something so i'll be quiet for a second so you can see what that what that does so i think you probably heard a rise in the background level uh I, I, that kind of bothers me that doesn't happen with the internal microphone i don't know why the internal microphone somehow has some kind of cancellation that it does on that that noise, so you don't have that problem. But I'm hoping that as I'm playing and I'm what I'm doing for what my purpose, I'm using this, uh, which won't have much silence. Then that that won't really be an impact. In any case, I'm just trying to do this whole thing to come, so I'll be able to compare the voice print I get with the internal microphone to it when I get with an external microphone and choose which one ever is better. And for ten bucks, I I, I thought that would be a fun experiment to 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 accomplish. So there you have it. Um, and uh, that's about it, I guess, for this video. So uh, I'll, once I get the voice print, I'll, I'll, I'll probably uh, uh, put a couple of videos to show how, uh, how this all worked out. But um, just in case anybody ever wants to um, connect a, uh, an XLR microphone to their cell phone with shit they already have, if you're a musician, you already have you know, the cables uh, and the PA head probably, or you might have that USB interface, which saves you a lot of these cables. But you, but I could do it with just buying a couple of cables. That USB, um, that USB to quarter inch uh, uh, connector from Behringer that was like thirty bucks, and then this thing was like ten bucks. So for forty bucks, uh, I have these cables that are useful and can do multiple tasks and don't involve any electronics and don't take up any space. Uh, uh, and so uh, that's pretty handy. And instead of buying a uh, fancy uh, interface that I just takes up more space and is another thing I didn't really need. So that was the idea. All right. Hopefully that's helpful to somebody someday out there when they're looking for stuff like this. Bye.